Everyone's always asking for that flatter stomach, but it's not about doing more crunches. It's about developing a strong backside so that you stand taller and you reverse the natural effects of sitting and hunching forward all the time. These are the moves that are gonna help you stand tall and project that confidence. Let's get your sexy back. All right, my friends, let's get this started. We're getting a strong backside. We've got Jenny over here showing some advanced moves and Raven is gonna show the modifieds for you today if you need that. All right, we're gonna start with some walking marches and we're gonna pick our knees up a little bit and shoulder circle it out so we get a little bit of a multi-purpose warm up today, right? Oh, yeah. yes. We only got a little time together so I wanna make sure we maximize that time. If you're just doing a short little kind of shallow march, that's okay. Let's switch directions, but really, think about opening up your shoulders, picking those knees up, pulling those abs in, so you're warming up that entire body. Get the blood flowing, my friends, all right? Yeah. Ah, nice deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. You wanna get that nice little hit of oxygen in your body before oh, yeah. we start, right? Yes, yes. it takes the you. energy up. Good, now we're gonna calm it down and we're gonna reach towards the toe with a straight leg toe touch. So heel towards the floor, you're gonna bend one knee, lengthen the other, and you're reaching towards that toe. Come back up and switch legs. So it's a nice long leg as you reach and come up. You wanna have a flat back for this, really flat back so that you stick your booty back and you get a nice extension through that calf and hamstring. That feels now, amazing. Oh, and doesn't it feel good? Yeah, it like, feels so oh good. Oh my gosh. So if you want to advance this a little bit, you could go opposite hand to foot. That's gonna elongate that body a little bit more. For me, when I'm just getting warmed up, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna just try to get to my toe and then I'm gonna add maybe that extra little reach across my body to start feeling even more of a stretch. And as you advance, you might get there, right? Yep. But just warm up slow, really feel yourself open up the backside of the body, because that's what we're working today, my friends, all right? Beautiful. Okay, now go wide stance here. We're gonna go into a gate swing, but just start here with a nice big gate squat. So you're pushing those knees open, you're getting a nice squat to open up the inner thighs and get the quads and the, you know, all the leg muscles, the glutes warmed up. If you wanna start adding a little hop, you can start adding that little hop in and out, okay? You could also step in and out if you wanted to, right? So Raven might add that little step after she feels a little warmed up. Jenny, she's getting a little explosive now, right? She's strong, she's got her legs warmed up heart rate up. That's it, it does get that heart rate up. So either way, it's up to you. Go at your own tempo. This is just getting your body feeling warm, getting that circulation going. Beautiful. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, wait, what happened here? <laughs> <laughs> That's it, last one. And relax. Now start from the side of your mat. You only need a little bit of distance here about the length of your mat. We're gonna shuffle. We're gonna take a little shuffle with our knees slightly bent. I'm gonna reach towards my knee or the floor to start. So you're going towards knee or shin. If you wanna get a little lower, you could start going all the way down to the ground, but I want you to stay low on your shuffle, right? As if you're like March Madness and I'm playing basketball, <laughs> right? Going side to side. You wanna feel the tension in your legs a little bit? Oh yeah. Starting to warm up those quads. Yeah, my thighs are feeling this. <laughs> yes. And your shins and your calves, everything is working to really get your body awake. Good, back and forth, good. Breathe it out. Last couple. Nice and light on the feet so your neighbors don't hear you, right? You don't wanna be like boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Try to stay light, even if you're stepping, right? You're light. Back and forth, last one. Woo, good. Now let's work the core a little bit. Come down to the floor, and this is gonna be a pike in place. So start here first in a modified plank position. All right, so you're from your knees, but you're planking so that you feel your abs engaged right there. Now, stay here if you're modifying, or come to the toes. Bring yourself into a full plank. And you're here, you wanna pull your belly button in towards your spine and lift your hips just a little bit. Don't move your feet. <laughs> then come back down to neutral, right? If at any time you need to drop to the knees, do it, right? So here, I'm activating my core and I'm just engaging my belly 
really picking my hips up with the strength of my abs. My shoulders are getting warm too, right? Yeah, you feel it then, for sure. <laughs> yeah, up and then slowly back down. If at any time you need to just drop here, do it. Just hold that modified plank. Three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. All right, so you feel warm, you're ready to work that backside. We're gonna start in a similar position with a plank press. So, we're gonna work the back of the shoulders. Start again, right here in that modified position, plank position, and I just want you to drop your chest towards the floor and then press it away. So through the forearms and elbows, you're pressing into the ground and pressing your chest up and away from the floor. Now, go from the toes, if you wanna add a little challenge to this, like Jenny's gonna show you, she's gonna go up and down, and you're gonna feel the fire in your shoulders and in your back, okay? Your abs are still working because you're in that plank. So this is challenging, even for my knees. Totally. You know, I feel this a lot. If you wanted to eventually go all the way to your hands, you could do that, and then eventually do that from your toes. Okay, so lots of variation and relax. Oh, that Ooh, one just gets my nice. whole upper body and back warmed up. <laughs> totally burns. Yeah. So we're gonna go onto our belly into a swimmer. So for this, I want you to think about looking towards the floor, but lifting your chest. I want you to lift your hands. They're down by your hips. You're gonna raise one arm up over the body and then back down. Other arm goes up. So you're, you're kind of trying to keep your chest off the ground just ever so slightly. Your feet are on the floor and you're looking down towards the floor, really focusing on your back. Now, if you want to advance this, you can go two arms up and over, right? And that is even harder because you feel that there's just like twice as much weight that you have to hold up versus falling towards the floor. And so start with one and keep on working that until you feel like, all right, Anna, my back isn't burning anymore. And then go to two, up and back and relax. Good, sit back yes. on the heels. Yeah, you feel that, Raven? Yes, my arms oh. love it. <laughs> right? Now you're on all fours and you're gonna do a little bird dog. So you're gonna go opposite arm and leg, are gonna raise up, extend one heel back and away, one thumb up towards the sky and then back to the floor. Same side, don't switch, go up, squeeze, and back down. Now, if you want to advance this and test your balance, extend opposite arm and leg, and then touch the knee to elbow. This is more advanced, okay? In and out. Now, if you're even more advanced than this, you might grab a free weight, like a two or three pounder, in your hand. Let's switch sides. All right, so opposite arm and leg, extend. Remember, heel presses down and away. Thumb points up towards the sky. You're becoming a nice, long, straight arrow, working the entire backside. And if you've got a two or three pound weight in your hand, it's gonna add even more intensity. So start with no weight. And if you can't balance right away, that's okay too. And relax, good. Now, both hands on the floor. And what I want you to do is a big hip circle with one knee, okay? Just draw a circle with your knee. Try not to let your hips open up and shift all over the place, right? So this is a way you can really get the blood flowing through the hips. Let's go the other direction. And these are all those little small muscle groups that stabilize your hips when you're doing other exercises that are really important to strengthen. And they're also, they need blood, right? So they get blood here. Switch sides, big circle. This is my favorite exercise. <laughs> it really opens up the hips. It, it does. Really good. And it feels like a little burn, but then the more you do it, you can start to advance this, and I'll show you that in the next couple sets. So right now, it's just a little warm up, getting the blood flowing, opening up the hips. Nice work, you guys are doing awesome. And relax, good, stretch it out, sit back. Even nice little squishy, squishy in the hips, good. <laughs> We're going two more rounds, so come right back onto those elbows, and I want you to find your perfect little plank press position. So down and press. So drop the chest, almost as if it's gonna touch the floor, and then press it away from the ground. So you're going from the knees to start. If you start going from the toes, 
it's gonna be a little bit harder, obviously, right? Because yes. then you got more weight up and down. It's such a small move, but it's so <laughs> difficult. It's so <laughs> that's a punch. So difficult. And you know, like your kids are learning this when they're like infants, right? They're trying to go from their belly up to their hands, up to their elbows. Good, back and forth. Good, and if you ever have to drop, like my shoulders are starting to really burn and I'm like almost gonna lose form. So then I'm gonna drop to my knees to keep going, right? So you gotta make sure you have a variation and relax, good. Let's go right to the belly. Okay, so you're on your belly. I want you to lift that chest, bring your hands down by your thighs and you're going alternating arms or you're going two. Yeah, Jenny. <laughs> she got that advanced version. Now some people, We'll even hold a free weight here, right? They'll even hold maybe like one pound free weights in their hands. You gotta be really strong. I'm not even there yet, right? So you wanna work on first one and then the other. Breathing it out. Awesome job. And then you're going for two. Maybe you wanna add two at certain times. So you're like, okay, I'm going one and then the other. Let me try two. Okay, that's a lot more intense. Let me go back to one at a time. And then you can feel yourself really progress. Good, come on back to your hands and knees. You guys are awesome. Looking good, ladies. Yay. Looking good out there. Let's go hands and knees, okay? So bird dog, elbow to knee, create that long extension, and then bring it back in. Now remember, you can touch the floor in between each one so that you regain your balance. Or you can start to really try here to keep the balance, keep your abs engaged, keep the stability, right, as you keep that knee off the floor. Breathing it out, excellent job, good. And let's switch sides. My shoulders even get a burn here during this. Yeah. Good, inhale, exhale. And this is your whole back working. So make sure your shoulder's not all up in your ear. Right, you wanna relax your shoulder. That's why your thumb should point straight up towards the sky. Cause when you do, you rotate your shoulder into a position that puts it at less risk of feeling tight and cramped up. You're externally rotating it. So you're really feeling yourself. Relax the shoulder as you elongate the arm. Breathe in and get out, you're great. And relax, good. Now hip circles again. Let's go with a forward circle to start, right? Now I told you, you can advance this one too. Maybe you wanna pick up your opposite arm off of the floor. Oh yeah. This is way mm -hmm. harder, right? So there's ways to advance this move, but you wanna be like, okay, I'm not falling all over the place. I'm not going down and up. So if you need the stability, switch directions, going backwards. If you need the stability, keep it there. If you want the challenge, raise that arm up. Try to keep the shoulders up and square and switch sides, other way, big circle, you got it. Picking that hand up for that extra challenge, trying to keep the hips neutral. My hips are burning! <laughs> Good, and direction, switch it backwards. Good, you're really starting to get the blood flowing in these hips, you guys. Totally. Oh yeah. Yeah, I feel it. Core is working so much more with this hand up. I know, Jenny, <laughs> so Looks much like a harder. a lot of balance. <laughs> That's it, exactly. And the bigger that circle, the harder it's gonna get. And relax, sit back on those hips. Let's go one more time through. You guys up for the challenge? Let's yes. do it. Let's do of it, course. okay? I know the shoulders are burning. You're doing amazing. All right, here we go. Bring it up on the toes. Pinch and press. Pinch and press. Remember, knees to start. Those of you that are new to this, right? Then you're here, going up and down. Then you might be here, going up and down. Then you might be here, going up and down. So there's lots of levels to how to do this one, but I like this one to start, because then you're really isolating shoulders. You're really getting the muscles there to fire up. Good. Last couple seconds. Ooh, Three. Shaking over here. I know. <laughs> Two and one. Awesome. Okay, coming onto your belly. Now we've got the shoulders in the back working. Chest up. Arms are down, you're looking towards the mat. Bring those arms up and over the head and back down. You're fighting gravity, so as your arms go forward, you have to think lift, 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 lift to really keep yourself from falling forward. Good, that's the challenge here. Shh. 
I love hearing your breath over there, Jenny. Nice job. <laughs> I need it. That's it. Keep that neck neutral. Keep looking down towards the floor. You're trying to lift, 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 lift. Keep your feet down on the ground. You guys are looking amazing. You're doing great. I know this isn't an easy one. And when you're on your third round, you're really working at, on that back. Good job, last two. One, and relax, sit back. Ooh. Get a nice little stretch, it feels good. Ooh, baby, all right, now we're coming back into all fours. Here we go, opposite knee to elbow, extend. Good, extend, nice straight line. So everything from the fingertip down to that heel is nice and long and flexing. Good job, that's it. Exhale, and you're breathing. Thank you for the reminder. Yes, <laughs> exactly. This is all reversing the, the effects of gravity, you guys. Go ahead and switch sides, right? When we're working the back, we're making sure that we're not doing all the hunching and the sitting forward, but we're strengthening the muscles that help us fight gravity during the day, during everyday activities that cause us to do that flexion, which is inevitable. We have to, right? Mm -hmm. That's the way that we're kind of set up. But now you can strengthen the back and relax, good. All right, hip circles, last one. Yay. Do your version. <laughs> Big circle forward, all right? The bigger the circle, the more you're gonna work the hip, but you wanna avoid opening up your body. So you don't, wanna, you don't wanna rock your hips side to side. You wanna keep them pretty neutral. And you can pick up the hand, go ahead and reverse directions. You can pick up the hand at any time just to test it, right? Just to test it, give it a shot. And then if you're like, no, no, not yet, then you put your hand right back down. You feel yourself getting stronger each time to try it differently. Good, let's switch up sides. Other leg, bring it forward. Nice big circle, pull the belly button in. Tummy is nice and tight. You're looking great. Breathe it out. Nice, reverse directions. Open up that Ooh. knee, feel that blood flow, come on. I know <laughs> when that burn burning. sets in, <laughs> you really gotta push yourself through it. Nice job. Think about those hips getting so much love right now. Burn it out and relax. Good, Ooh. grab a little sip of water, ladies. Yay. All right, grab your little sip. Don't drink too much. You don't want it flushing around in the body. Don't want it like moving around everywhere. Mm. And we're gonna go into a single-legged bridge starting this next circuit, okay? You have a lot of variation here as well. So you might come onto your back and you might just start with two legs, okay? Or you're gonna join Jenny and I. We're gonna lift up the hips. We're gonna have one heel reaching towards the sky. If it's a little lower because you're just starting out, that's okay, right? The goal is to get it up there. And you're pressing through the heel and lifting the hips, squeezing the booty, right? Getting a nice extension through the hips, belly's in tight, and you're squeezing. Or you're going two legs, pressing through the heels like Raven. Good, and getting those hips up from the floor. Good, Jenny, let's switch sides. All right, other side, other leg is reaching. So I'm feeling a huge stretch through my hamstring here too. Yes. yes. I don't know if you guys are, but like, Definitely. my hamstrings are always tight. So I'm like, hey. Good, so you're gonna feel that work through the glutes. All right. Focusing on the strength in the backside, your glutes are your powerhouse muscle, right? So you really want to make sure you give them love when you're working this backside. Last one, lift and relax. Amazing, ladies. Yes. All right, let's bring it up onto our feet. And we're going to go into a squat and reach. My favorite to work the entire backside and the shoulders, okay? So with this one, if you want to grab light weights, go ahead or follow Raven first without weights. You're gonna have your feet about hip width, shoulder width apart, a little wider than hip width actually. You're gonna go down for a squat and raise the arms up towards the sky. So here you're working the whole back side and you're getting the shoulders working as well. When you go down and you raise those arms, all that weight wants to pull you forward so your back is like so strong as you avoid that and you fight gravity on the, on the downward face here. So it's all about keeping an upright posture as you lower. And if you're getting tired and you're like, my God, I'm setting those babies down, <laughs> I highly recommend it so that you don't start going like this with here, with the weights. Oh yeah. 
All right, that's gonna create strain on your low back, not strength, okay? So keep that up, good, relax, beautiful. Now, keep your weights if you wanna add the advanced version or go no weights here. And we're gonna go into a little bit of a reverse fly and step. So I've got my knees slightly bent and I'm pulling the weight back towards the wall and a little up towards the sky, but I'm bending from the waist a little here, right? But I've got a nice straight back. So here's where you wanna think about using your butt. Use your butt, that's your stabilizer right there. And you're pinching, pulling. And you're giving that little step because that's harder on one leg to stabilize when you fly with those weights. You're gonna really feel the difference. Yeah, Jenny, she looks good. <laughs> good job, Raven, showing that move. Couple more seconds, breathe. Back and forth. I just almost lost my balance too. I was like, whoa! <laughs> so you can tell that it's challenging. Relax, good job. Let's bring it back down to the floor. We're going round two, bridge. Yes, round All two. Right. So, Jenny, show them the single leg on your back. Show them two legged on your back. I'm gonna show you now an advanced one from the hands. So you're here and you're gonna lift all the way and lower. So now I'm further away from the ground. Makes it a lot harder on my leg and my glute and hamstring to get off the floor. So I gotta really fight here. Fighting gravity, lifting, squeezing, and bringing it up. Nice work. Good job, you guys. So we got lots of variation for everyone who, wherever you're at in your fitness journey, all right, to be able to do this move and to progress and switch. Other leg, nice and long. Let's go, press through that heel. Squeeze the glute at the top. <sighs> Breathing it out. You got it. This is one of my favorites, especially when I yes. know how strong all my glutes and my stability muscles are gonna be in the backside because that makes squats easier, that makes lunges easier, it makes walks easier, it makes hikes easier, and everything easier. Hey. <laughs> Breathe, and one more. Boom, and relax. Ooh. All right, Ooh. back up onto your feet. You got your squat and reach. All right, so I'm gonna show you. No weight for now, because I'm gonna give myself just a second here to catch my breath. <laughs> <sighs> Good, we're going down, reach it up. Now listen, when you do this move, right, and you're not holding weights, I wanna show you how much lower I can go, right? So I'm going so much lower because I don't have this weight in front that's gonna pull me forward. I've got my arms are my weight, and that's a lot. So I can go lower in my squat. Focus on depth of the squat with your reach, then grab weight, and then use that resistance because your squat's gonna be a little bit less in depth, and you've got weight in your hand. Unless you're Jenny, and you can go to the floor Woo! with weight, right? And that's the progression. Breathing it out, you got it. And relax. Now, go reverse fly and step. Now, Raven, you can add a side step here if you want. Okay. All right, so watch Raven. She's gonna do a reverse fly and a side step. As she walks, she's adding a little dynamic mobility there working her legs, and she's still got that forward bend. You can see that she's really pinching those shoulder blades. <sighs> she's working the shoulders and that middle back. <sighs> I know that for me, holding my little baby has really been a lot easier because I've built a lot of strength in my upper back, right? So I'm not having as much pain. All those stability muscles are stronger. Last two, last one. Awesome, one more round, Ooh, let's do this. Yay, let's Onto do it. your back. I got this. Yes. You got it, come on guys. <laughs> Getting that sexy backside. Yes. Let's do it, come on, lift it up and bridge. Exhale as you lift and lower. Lift and lower. That's it, exhale. I like having variation and showing you guys the variation because I know for me, I always like variety in my workout. So if today you wanna lay on your back, go ahead and switch, do it. If tomorrow or the next workout that you do and you've got a bridge, go from the hands if you wanna try it. Or if you're like, man, I'm so sore, my legs are killing me, do the modified with two legs so that you can still work your body, get the blood flowing, but you have a variation that works for your body that day. Good, exhale, breathe it out. 
out. Oh, baby. It's burning, it's burning so good. <laughs> you can do this, you got it. Think strong in my backside and relax. Awesome, Ooh. let's come up to the feet. One more round. All right, yay. Okay, let's do squat it. and reach. Ah, oh, I love this. You guys are the best, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's go, drop it down. Raise those arms and back up. Exhale. I always like to think about exhaling during the hardest part of my exercise movement. So when I gotta raise those weights up and fight gravity, that's where I wanna kinda breathe it out and give myself permission to exert a little extra energy. Feel myself getting through it. You're looking great. <laughs> Oh, baby. It is burning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you don't feel this in your back, then you are like strong as He-Man. Oh, yeah. This and is you a need, to me. And you need to get heavier free weights in your hands. <laughs> You're doing great. Let's go. Last one. Breathe it out. And relax. Okay. Reverse fly. Remember, start here. Nice bend in the knees. Forward hinge. Hands are open, palms are open. You're gonna reverse fly, pinch, and step. Nice and slow, pinch, and step. When you're stepping back, it's a light touch, right? So you're not like, whoa. You're not stepping, you are touching. You're just lengthening for a second there. All the weight is still on this front foot and that front glute. It's getting all the work. Oh yeah, <laughs> yes I know. Woo. You don't have to love me now, you can love me later, don't worry Woo. about it. I still love you. <sighs> Last two, <sighs> one. Oh, and shoulders, yes. 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 everything yes. is working now. <laughs> don't go anywhere, I got some love for your body, okay? This is the love you give to your body right now. Starts with a nice little cross the arm over the front, Grab it here, drop that shoulder towards the floor, and give it a hug. You're giving your arm a hug. You feel that? Give yes. it love. It feels and, the love. And think about, you gotta <laughs> drop your shoulder so it's not up here. If your ear is touching your shoulder, then you wanna think about, let me drop my shoulders. And that's hard to do for some people because they're so tight in their neck. So if it's okay, if you're looking in the mirror and you're like this, that's okay, but always be focusing on getting to here where you can drop your shoulder. And the more you do these stretches and the more you're working on your mobility through this program, the more you're gonna feel that easily come to your body, that function, okay? Breathe and relax, beautiful. Now the rotator cuff stretch. Ladies, hands on the hip like you're sassy. Okay, and you're gonna grab your elbow. Now, not everyone can grab their elbow. So some people might need to use a hand towel, all right, your sweat towel, and that's okay. Because if you do, you grab that sweat towel around your elbow and you give it a little pull forward, right? So if you can't reach, you gotta have a little extender. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. But if you can't do this stretch, this is why you're having shoulder and neck issues, okay? So really work on this one and switch, other side. So, wrist on your hip, grab your elbow, and pull it forward. You're gonna see me do this stretch with you in a lot of different workouts when you're cooling down because it's so important. I do it after every workout. You're lucky I'm not making you do it after every workout. Just <laughs> several that are working on the backside, like alignment, and when we're working our backside and our shoulders, that's when you're gonna be doing this stretch. It's most important during that time, okay? Yeah. All right, now we're gonna come down to the floor and finish with my absolute favorite, and that is child's pose. Mine too. Right? Right. Oh, so you worked your back. <laughs> <laughs> you worked your back, you got all the muscles here. Really reach your fingertips forward, drop your forehead all the way down to the floor. And I, I want you to imagine walking your fingertips away from your body. Just feel like your arms just like stretch Armstrong, right? All right, just really be like, wow, can I get one inch longer right now? And then I want you to take it over to the right. I want you to really bring both your arms over just off your mat. Keep your forehead on the ground. And feel that side body, get a big stretch. You deserve it, breathe in. Take a deep breath in through your nose. 
in through that side body and out. Then go over to that left side. So as you're stretching, you're breathing into the muscles that just gave you all that energy, just gave you all that strength. Breathe in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Think about one word, one word that describes how awesome you are. Because you are awesome. You showed up for yourself today. I am so proud of you guys. Jenny and Raven, you are amazing. Thank, Thank you for you. doing that yes. workout and showing everybody how powerful it is to get that sexy back. You guys are amazing. See you next workout.